For this tutorial, we're going to make a snowman, and I'm going to make it the way most students would begin to make it. And you'll see, hopefully by now, you'll see right where all my mistakes are, and you'll see through it. But this is one of the first lessons I teach students. I'm going to go down to the sphere and pull the sphere up, okay? Now, I'm going to change my work plane just a little bit like this. I want that sphere to be bigger, so I'm going to bring it closer, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Okay, there we go. That sphere is right where I want it. Now, I need another sphere for the snowman, so I'm going to bring in another sphere, and I'm going to bring that sphere in closer to me, just like maybe a little bit closer. That's pretty good. I'm going to bring in another sphere, and I'm going to line it up just right about here. That looks really good so far. I've got a nice looking snowman. I'm gonna go up and make him some arms. So I'm pulling a box. I've gotta make those arms obviously a little bit smaller and shorter, that sort of thing. I'm not gonna to take too much time. Oh, I should probably make these white. So I'll go into, I'll make some nice white spheres. Cause it's snowman after all. So I made each one white. Um, uh -oh, I'm gonna make that one white. Let's go back in there. There we go. And I want his arms to be, we'll make them brown. Let's go with that. All right, so I want his arm here. I've got to figure out how to stretch it around, something like this maybe. All right, that looks pretty good. So I've got this great snowman arm here. I want another one, so I'm just going to duplicate that. That's easy. And I'll slide that one over here, and I can just rotate a little bit this way. And now... I'm not going to bother with his hat, but you can see I've got a beautiful snowman right here. Looks good. However, the entire time I built this, I looked from a 2D perspective. I didn't look anywhere else around. So I'm going to use my right mouse um, button and I'll click and pull. And you'll see I don't have anything. I've got a pile of junk. I have three spheres that are all exactly the same size and two arms that are not even connected and everything is lying flat on the work plane. It looks great from one single perspective, but everywhere else, this is what it would print out to be. This would print out as junk. So we, you've got to convince students, this is the way I do it, that they they constantly have to be spinning around that object. You're always looking from all dimensions top, bottom, all sides, because if you don't, then you'll have one thing that looks great in one spot, but everywhere else it's a total mess. So now, let's make a snowman for real. I'm gonna home everything back. I'll go down and get another sphere. So if this is the size of the sphere in the beginning, I'll make this the size of his head. So I'm gonna make, if this is 20 by 20, I'm gonna hold down control and grow this thing up. Control was the wrong way. I made it flat. That's no good. I've messed it up. I'm just going to get rid of it. I want to hold down shift. If you hold down control and pull a handle, you're only you're not also increasing the height. You're only increasing the two dimensions, the length and the width. You want to use shift and pull. And I'm going to try and get it to 50. Oh, perfect. So I've got one sphere, the base sphere will be 50. All right, I'm going to pull out the next sphere. I want that center sphere. Let's try and make it, uh, let's make it like, third. Well, what size is this guy? Let's check. 20. So between 50 and 20, let's go for like a 35. Okay, so I'm going to hold down that shift again so I can get to like a 35 here. All right, I'm going to put that aside. We'll get to it in a minute. Okay, don't worry about that. Then I'll pull in my other sphere, the 20. So we've got the three parts of the snowman. So I'm going to take this one, I'll use that cone and pull it up and slide it over. Obviously way too low. Let's use that cone and bring it up higher. I don't want it to be, I'm going to shift and right click to change my view. I don't want it to be too low, but I also don't want it to be too disconnected. I want it to look real, like a snowman would. So I'm going to pull this up just a little bit more. I think I'm going to stop right there. We'll worry about aligning these later. We'll use the align tool. So next I'm going to pull this one up really far. I'm bring it in close so I can pull it up even higher. Slide this guy over. Oh, not high enough. Let's keep it going up. Bring it in here. Now when I look at it from here, 
It's, it's a pretty good connection right there. I like that. Maybe just a touch lower using that cone. Now, if I turn it, <laughs> I got lucky. They're not normally this well aligned. They're normally, you know, this one will be a little off this way. That one will be a little off one way. It's no big deal. They normally look more like that when you spin it. So how do we line them up? We just need to go to the align tool. So I'm going to put my band around, go to the align tool, and I want them all lined up left and right. I want them all lined up this way. I do not want them lined up that way. So now look at that. I've got a nicely lined up snowman. Now here's a big problem with the snowman. I'm going to group this guy together because that's the way I like him. He's going to stay that way. I'm going to make him white. That does not matter when I go to print, though. He'll only print in one color. Now, my problem is if I were to print this, this is still just one point touching the work plane. If you see that, there's one single point touching the work plane. That's never going to stand up. It's never going to be usable. So what I need to do is make it so that I have a flat surface here. So this is how I like to do it. I'm going to take this grouped piece, and I'm going to stick them down a little bit underneath the work plane. About that much. Now, I want him to be leaning just a little bit because I think it looks neat when a snowman leans just a little. So I'm going to give him just a little bit of a lean back, just like that. And now, this piece that's underneath the work plane, I need to figure out a way to chop that off. And if you haven't figured that out yet, this is really, really simple to do. Get yourself a box that's a hole and put it in place. You want to lower that thing so that it is just below the surface of the work plane. Not quite there yet. One more little click, and boom, now I am below the surface of the work plane. I am actually oh, a little too far. You see that? So I have to go up one click. Okay, now watch this. I'm below. I'm actually upside down. I'm working underwater here, so to speak. I'm going to make this thing huge, all right? Now, when I group these, this hole is going to chop off that bottom. So let's group this together so you can get a better idea of what's happening here. Now my bottom is perfectly flat. I have a base for my snowman. So I've got that guy started. Now, let's make a hat for the snowman. If you think of what a hat really is, if we're doing a top hat for this guy, a top hat is a cylinder with a larger cylinder that has gone flat. So I'm going to take that, I'm going to take this, and I'm going to hold my shift key, or actually control would be even better, pull that out just a little bit. shift, there we go. Let's put these together. I would like my brim to be a little bit wider. If I want to do it this way, I can do it that way. I can say I want it to be 30 this way, and I want it to be 30 this way. Don't forget, you can do that if you need to. I'm going to select those pieces and align them one way and the other so that they're nice and aligned. That's a nice looking hat for my snowman. Select them and group them. Bring this guy. Uh oh, what have I done? Undo. See how that happens? I'm going to grab that, slide it up, move it back. Need to bring it up some more here. I'm going to use my, I like to use the keyboard arrow keys for fine tuning. Now that hat is a little large. Probably should have made it a little bit smaller. So in order to do the full 3D um, movement, I need to, let's see here. Shrink this guy. There we go. Shrink that hat down a little bit. Move it over. <clears throat> Now, the snowman's leaning a little, and his hat is straight up and down. It looks ridiculous from the side, right? So I'm going to take that. I'm going to give myself a little bit even more of a lean than the snowman himself. And I have to eyeball it up in all directions. I'm going to stay connected. Select it on there. Move it on back. There we go. Now we have the hat on the snowman. How are you going to make a nose? Very simply with a cone. You would just take the cone, spin it up, put it in there. Really simple stuff, but now that you know all these controls, you can make something quickly and easily. Just don't forget to keep spinning and look at all sides.
Because when you're 3D printing or 3D designing, you need to look at every single dimension you possibly can. It's all important. Please don't forget that great step under here, smoothing out a bottom or chopping off what you don't want by using just one big square that you've turned into a hole. So that's where we're going to stop our snowman tutorial. The rest should be pretty easy for you to figure out. But that was the hard stuff.